the five spaced out. Fizz Piffin. Marty, you there? I repeat, Marty, are you there? Great. It's Private Johnson. They probably want me to con. They won't. They probably want to con me into doing their work again. Marty, come on, man. Pick up your wrist communicator. At least I gave you a base. I haven't been able to move in yet. Marty, seriously, we need you. Hey, Fizz, what's up? Commander Hood up to no good again. I wish it was that easy. We need to investigate a distress, a distress call from our outer space. I'm guessing by we, you mean me, right? No, I mean we, Marty. What kind of team do you think we are? So, I'll see you at the spaceport? You got it. Why don't you just quit Private Johnson? Commander Hood is out to get me whether I'm... <laughs> Commander Hood is out to get me whether whether I'm with them or not. Even if they take my credit, it's better to have an ally than not. Well, what about the base? They didn't consider the impracticality of a base inside an active volcano. Bring me the parts, I can likely get that base built. Thanks, Matt. I owe you one. Hey, how's the mission going? Wow, we're in a totally ski ball. Holy shit, yes. Oh, that was dumb. Come on. Bullshit. Just like real life ski ball. Bullshit. games like when the sign said meatball pit I laughed these meatballs look, these meatballs look like they're a few weeks old who'd let the kids play in this Ugh. oh we're in, we're in Charlie Cheesers yes finally I'm the one to come in here forever Hey Marty, I got the highest score in skee ball. It's part of my quest to be the rudest rat, sorry, to be the raddest dude alive. If anyone ever beats my score, I'll be devastated. World champion baller, student, student, at your service. I know a cool guy named Stu. I should help Charles get his merchandise back. I killed. I ordered the death of my brother. Hal Pacino. That's hilarious. Hal, get it? Uh, I'm afraid I couldn't let him break my heart again. That's hilarious. Robert Robot De Niro. Oh, come on. Hey, you. Want to help me with something? Uh, sure, I guess. Hal over there, he, you know, whacked his brother. Radi Radio Cordoloni, dawn of the Charles Cheese Band, Cheeser Band. Long story short, you never go against your robot family. We ain't got no front man, though. Without a front man, we ain't got a band. Can you find us a new one? My BIOS won't let me leave, so I gotta get help. Are you looking for anyone in particular? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Just get me anyone. We'll even take one of you soft robots. It doesn't really matter one way or the other. Or another. I expect this place to have a few more games, but you know, whatever. Oh, hey, the need are gone. Oh, here's Bobby Fett. Yo, Marty! 
Wanna help the fame Bobby Fett one last time? Not really. But lay it on me. There's hood mercs near Reed Richards books. They must be up to no good. Of course. They're the hood. As usual, I could take them out myself. But I don't want to hurt them too bad. If you can take care of them, that'd be great. Oh! Marty! The school is easier to take over than I thought! In case you didn't notice, your teachers are lizards. I quit the principal thing after the laser incident, but I want to come back. If you clear those lizards out, that'd be groovy. I guess we're hoping the ex-principal. Did you hear? basketball team got roped into solving some kind of mystery with the Clue crew. Oh, shit. Things didn't go well, and I heard Julius almost died. On the flip side, I heard there was a catchy musical number, and I'm pretty sure they got to eat a bunch of ridiculously oversized sandwiches. Scooby-dooby-doo, where are you? Oh, I can sniff glue. This math homework makes no sense. What is the square root of his plus his? <laughs> Stupid shit. Bite him, bulldogs! Makes me laugh. Okay, um. His, 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 his. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh, hey! Lizard man. Three pencils, you're out! Hiss! Reading is radical. Man, this totally brings me back to like my school days, because they had shit like that up. Oh, Jesus! And some good music references, man. References, would you rather have. Would you rather live in the 80s or now? Like, that's a good question. You done killed that fucker. Okay. Back to principal room. You did it! I can finally go back to being the principal. Don't worry. I won't bring any other soldiers. I don't even work for the hood anymore. Now that I'm principal again, I need to stop those bot changers from constantly breaking the wall. This is the fourth time this year. You, you really should... Oh, hi there. Uh, recycle. Oh man, that was another thing that was big in the 80s. Oh shit, these, these guys, this couple. Hey, hey, Marty. Hey, hey, Marty. <sighs> That's fucking great. Marty added a ooze. Marty! Just a guy I wanted to see. Did you notice the canister of ooze over there? Oh no. That used to be a, the gruel that you helped me investigate. I had some guys in the science lab distill it. It's power down. Oh, distill it's power down to a core essence. If you use it in battle, it will greatly enhance your abilities. Well, sometimes. Other times, it'll probably hurt you pretty bad. We tried to make it perfect, but science isn't perfect. We can't all be Mr. Wizard. Thanks! If anything goes horribly wrong and you mutate into a puddle of human organs, let me know! That'll make an amazing headline. I was kind of hoping for, like, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reference, but uh, I'll take what I can. Phoebe. I finally got to use the bikini I got for Christmas. It, it's great, but way too many guys were staring at me. Well, that's, you know, kind of the idea of a bikini, maybe? No? Like, guys like half-naked women. I, you know, it, it's kind of a pig thing to say, but oh my god. I just got back from space camp. We went to the moon. Honestly, there's not much to see there. Next year, I want to go to Mars. Hey, Marty. I'm sure you're sick of this, but I really need your help. 
Mary broke up with me again. This time, I'm not even sure why. Then again, I'm usually not sure why. What do you think I could do to help? I'm pretty hopeless with girls myself. I got her a promise ring so she'll know I'll always be hers. I wanted the moment I wanted the moment I give it to her to be perfect. I don't know where to start in setting up a proposal. What makes you think I do? The girl I have a crush on barely knows I exist. It doesn't really matter. Can you help me look for some someone oh, could you help me look for someone who does? I guess I can give it a shot. Marty reminds me of myself. The, I, no, I can't say the girl I had a crush on, like... Uh, like, didn't know I existed. More so... Knew I existed, but I got friend-zoned quickly. After these messages, we'll be right back. Looking for laughs and nerdy information? We'll look no further. Go check out Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment Podcast. Why are you looking for a romantic? Todd better not be trying something. I'm not, in real life, I suck at basketball. Hey, Chris. How would you like to join a band? For real? You're just not yanking my chain? This is totally real. Yes! Please get me in on that. I'll have to brush up on my vocals. Ever since we joined up with that mystery-solving crew, the basketball team hasn't been the same. We went to a haunted island and encountered the ghost of a revolutionary. I really don't think I'm ready to talk about it. How did they expect the basketball team to sol help solve such a gruesome mystery? I'm usually excited. This is just sad. Aww. Sorry, right, girls, teachers. But I gotta, I gotta go back to the anyway. Can't say I'm pleased, but I guess the guy has rock in his name. We're desperate, though, so I'm gonna accept this. Welcome to the band, Chris. Yes! My life finally has meaning. Thank you, Marty. You don't know how hard it was being a rock, stuck in one place without a purpose in life. This changes everything. If you're looking for a romantic, try talking to some of the girls from your school. Uh, thanks, man. Murphy's Claw, the breakfast cub. Oh, I love the puns, man. Oh my gosh. I heard a crash when I was in the theater and ran out. I don't think the guy inside that car is alive. I give this I give this tragedy two claws down. Oh. I don't know how to break this to you, bro robot. Stella is dying. Oh. She's powered by a pair of B batteries that died yesterday. If I don't get new ones soon, her data will be lost forever. I haven't been this sad in a long time. I'm sad. This is almost worse than that time I lost my mom. Don't worry, Stanley. I'll find battery, new batteries for Stella. Should be as good as new. Romance? Ever since Kev got me that rocket penguin from the dam, he's been so romantic. I'm pretty sure he's getting tips from Matt. Talk to Matt. Oh. Derek, do I hear footsteps? Someone is alive up there. Yeah, there's a lot of people alive up here. But the planet bombs. The radiation. All of the Earth was supposed to be wiped out. I have no idea what you're talking about. Everything's fine up here. You should come up and check it out. Not unless you can prove to me that it's safe. I need to be sure if there's no radiation. <sighs> I guess I should find some proof for this guy that life on Earth has continued since he went into hiding. War and Gaia ends. Oh, you're kidding me.
Oh, Matt is my friend. I am an idiot. You need romance advice? It's about time you ask me. Are you about to ask Samantha out? What? No! Samantha would never leave Billy for me. I'm asking you for Todd. He's giving Mary a ring and wants to, wants to be perfect. Okay. I need you to set... I need you to set somewhere nice for, for the proposal. If the setting is nice, Todd will have no problem. Talk to Randy. He might be able to hook you up. Awesome. Thanks, man. Oh, here we go. Hey, hey, hey. You got to get... You got to get me away from this girl, Marty. What's going on? What's going on, Marty? I need to get some supplies for a promise ring proposal. I need anything romantic that you've got. You have romantic things? Why don't you ever do anything romantic for me? I deserve something romantic. Do you not love me, Randy? Ooh, she knows his name. He's not Harry Todd no more. Do you not think I'm good enough for you? What have I ever done to you to not deserve some romance? This is for Todd, right? I can't believe I've ever liked that guy. No, no, baby. You're perfect for me. <laughs> Help me, Marty. <laughs> uh, I'll be out. I'll help you out, Marty, but I expect help in the future. You'll know what I mean when I say this wasn't worth $20. Anyways, I've got some flowers and a heart mat left over from some comic books, Fantastic Wedding. Does Todd like comics? I don't. Too bad, he doesn't have a choice. That's all I've got right now. I've just set up the stuff over by Todd. That poor man is stuck with that crazy, crazy broad. Oh, what the hell? I can't thank you enough for setting this up. This will blow Mary away. It's no problem. Mary's coming. We should stand back and watch the proposal. Mary, if you didn't guess what this is about, I've already told you, Todd. We're through. I'm in love with Skelebor, and nothing can change that. Got you this ring? A promise ring? Todd! You do care! So you'll leave Skelebor? You'll take me back? Of course! I'd say Skelebor was all skin and bones, but he doesn't even have skin. You're mine, Todd, and nothing can change that. Getting us back together. Now let's hear something. Wait, what? I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, in case you're wondering, I totally betrayed you. Kind of like how you betrayed me. Betrayed you? You mean the whole thing with Bertha? Yes! And you talk about it like it was nothing. I'm world famous and you treated me like garbage. I've been working for the hood all along. Makes sense. Commander Hood likes to work with the incompetent. How dare you! Do you have any idea who I am? Get him! Nice. Pencil does the trick. Where you at, you pussy? Martin Hiller killed me when he refused to help against Bertha. It's so hard to pretend to be someone you're not, but I've got to keep this up. I'm so close to getting near the commander, so... So close to being able to avenge my family. I wish I was better at this. Stronger, faster. But I'm not, though. 
I hope the mercs I paid can take Marty out. This could be my only chance at closure. Story. I've been work I had been working for a lifeguard over the summer, but I came back for the 4th of July. I mean, I would have come back, but Kev kind of messed the whole thing up. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to find Samantha. Oh, say, yes. Now we can go back to work. Woo! Subpar conditions, low pay, and no benefits! Yay, we can work until we die! My existence is meaningless! What is life? Um, I feel like when I'm at work sometimes. Yay! I can work and try and pay bills and never get ahead. Well, this is embarrassing. I was hiding a nuclear waste disposal hatch. What an incredible waste of fate. You know, I'm now a hideous mutant. I owe you one. Thanks for getting me out of that hatch. Can't let it, can't let his Stella die, man. It's an airport. Spade McFly. Hey man, can you help me out with something? Sure, what do you need? I don't know if you recognize me, but I've been on TV. I don't seem familiar. I figured that's what you'd say. Private Johnson, the bot changers, Jewel, they've all overshadowed us. I'm with the Legionnaires. We're an elite space force with some rad exosuits. I remember these guys. I remember what they're, what he's uh, mocking or spoofing. We were supposed to be getting filmed today but I lost communication with our space station. Some nearby spacecraft are jamming my signals. If you happen to see any jammers, shut them down. I'll do my best, man. I will help out as much as I can. Wait, that's a... That's a hood? Here we go. Fist! Marty, are you ready to investigate the distress signal? I'm ready when you are. Me? I'm not going. You said we were going to do this. I meant the figurative we. Such <laughs> as in the literal you. You're going to the space station the signal came from, and we're staying here. Part for the course, I guess. This is an incidental. But you should probably know that this place belongs to the to a to a pretty nasty villain. Incidental? Yeah, it's just a minor detail. It's supposed it sounds pretty important to me. Who is this guy? The financier. He's kind of responsible for Commander Hood's existing. And this is incidental? This is heavy. Fight comes up, I think you can beat him. And again, he wiped out all my good soldiers back in the day. Why do you think I recruit anyone who shows a passing shows a passing interest? Last week we hired a football player. No battlefield experience at all, but man, he could can he score touchdowns? Thanks for the vote of confidence. I guess I don't have a choice in this matter. Someone sent out that distress signal, and if I don't investigate, no one will. That's the spirit. Do you have any idea how hard it is to work security here? Some guy tried to hijack a shuttle the other day. He kept screaming nonsense about zone generators. I have absolutely no idea what he was on about. I hate the people always define me by my dad. You know, I'm more than Barrison Ward's kid. I'm an individual. And I believe you, but you are. This week, I'm recruiting a DJ. I'm codenaming him Beat Boom. I was going to say Beatbox. Boombox. He'll have a speaker that can explode. 
that'll give new meaning to break dancing. Next week, I'll hire a librarian codenamed Bookworm. Worm-infested books for a weapon. Hmm, maybe not. Kids won't buy the toy of that. Space something is the future. Space travel. This terminal's dis destination is a smuggler hideout. I couldn't explain why if I wanted to. Okay. I used to live on the moon. I was a Valkyrie pilot. Kind of miss it, but it's much safer down here. All right. I guess I'm going to space, like it or not. <laughs> Honestly, that kind of looked lame. Oh, that's cool as fuck. It looks like um, like something from Star Trek. That looks like something from Star Wars. That oh, that's cool. Oh shit, Samantha, Marty. I guess you got my distress signal. Uh, yeah. What's going on? The space station? It's not right. Well, you're on it! What the fuck? Several days ago, this was not here. I did some snooping around, and I'm pretty sure it belongs to the financier. That's right. He disappeared from Earth several years ago, and no one's heard from him since. Now he's back. Why? I don't know, but if he's connected with Commander Hood, this can't be good. We need to go... We need to get to the bottom of this. Right. This space station has two sections. Perfect for us to split up and explore. If you find anything, give me a call on my wrist communicator. You're giving me your number? Of course. We need to stay in touch if we're going to figure this out. Why the hell are you here? Why do you have a wrist communicator? 